If you're just starting to make Kawaii PMVs, want to improve your visuals, or might just want a refresher, this tutorial series should get you on the right track. In this series, I'll be discussing how to get started in making YT PMV visuals with After Effects, as well as showing a bit of my workflow to how I make them. So while both audio and visuals for YT PMV is traditionally done in Sony slash Magix Vegas, After Effects is a great alternative for visuals, which has several advantages over Vegas. Before I list what advantages it has, let me be clear what After Effects is and is not. Firstly, After Effects is not an audio editor. Vegas previously originated as an audio editor, but later split into a video editor as well, and therefore is handy for both audio and video editing. After Effects has very basic audio manipulation features, but it's in no way comparable to how Vegas handles audio. If you want to learn how to make audio, then unfortunately this isn't the tutorial for you. But if that's what you would like to learn, I've provided a few links to some resources for using Vegas and an alternative Reaper for making YTPMV audio. Secondly, After Effects is not a video editor, at least from a general usability standpoint. While it's true you can edit video in After Effects, and it's true you'll be doing some basic editing inside of After Effects when making YTPMVs, it's not its primary usage and there's a lot better tools suited for that task. After Effects relies heavily on caching previews, whereas most video editors aim for real-time playback, which After Effects can't always provide. If you want to do only simple video editing, Premiere or even Vegas would be better suited for this task. Now what After Effects is, is it's a solution for visual effects and motion graphics and lots of other small things in between. These aspects make it an extremely powerful tool for visuals over Vegas, which obviously YTPM viewers have pushed the limits for. But after watching this tutorial series, you'll quickly see how far you can go past the limits of Vegas. And After Effects has many ways it pushes past these limits of Vegas, such as easier and better animation tools, no project file nesting like it's done in Vegas, better 3D support, more native effects, and more consistent previews and renders. And because this is a beginner's guide, this is only scratching the surface of what's possible with After Effects. What you can expect from this tutorial series is an introduction to the interface, important features everyone needs to know, how to animate objects, as well as some general YTPMB tips with an example of my workflow at the end. Advanced topics such as rotoscoping, 3D layers, and expressions I've mostly left out from these tutorials because I deem them to be not necessary if you're just starting out. And you can look into these later if you find them interesting, but it may be something I cover in the future. And I think it's important to note this is really only a guide for the program itself and how to accomplish some YTPMV style techniques with it. The tool you use does not make a video, but rather it's how you use the tool. That being said, in the long run, using After Effects over Vegas should make it easier to accomplish what you want. So along with that, it's good to have a good imagination, and even beyond that, I'd highly recommend learning about basic composition, color theory, storytelling, etc. So I hope you may get something out of these tutorials, and if you have any questions or thoughts at all, please feel free to leave a comment and I'd be more than willing to answer. With all that being said, let's dive right in. 